العلم أشراف مطلب وطالبه لله أكرام من يمشي على قادم العلم نور مبين يستضيء به أهل السعادات والجهال في الظلم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام الأتماني الأكملان على محمد رسول الله سيد الأولين والآخرين وإمام الأنبياء والمرسلين والشافع المشفع يوم الدين وعلى آله الطيبين وأزواجه الطاهرات أمهات المؤمنين وصحابته الغر الميامين ومن استنى بسنته واهتدى بهدي إلى يوم الدين أما بعد حياكم الله Dear brothers and sisters to this continuing session of the Tafsir of Juzu Amma or the benefits from the Tafsir of uh, Juzu Amma Today we are with uh, one very important surah and the importance of it is that it talks about, it speaks about uh, very waffle uh, and uh, ugly manners and characters that the Muslim should uh, stay away from and fight against it uh, yani whenever he feels that uh, some of it may be found with him. Uh, and this, as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is describing the surah, is uh, the cause uh, of the person going to Jahannam billah, because it leads uh, to the arrogance and to the the uh, kibr and kufr, and that's why Allah Subhanahu wa Taala began the surah by threatening the one with these type of uh, uh, yani attributes or characters or manners or whatever you you call it. Uh, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala said in Surah Al Humaza. ويل لكل همزة لمزة ويل لكل همزة لمزة woe to every uh, corner and mucker همزة and لمزة uh, the ulama have different interpretations to these two uh, همزة and uh, لمزة um, some said that humaza is to mock people or scorner people with your hand. Uh, and beat them or uh, harm them with your hand or with your tongue. And the lumaza is the one who uh, accuses people with his tongue. And others said, the other way around, but yani, for example, uh, what I said is as is, is, is a statement of Ibn Zayd, but uh, Mujahid, one of the major uh, scholars of tafsir, he said that humaza is with hand, and al is with tongue, is with tongue. Uh, while Qatada, one another major scholar of tafsir, uh, he said that humaza uh, yahmizu to scorner and to mock by tongue and by eye. By tongue and by by eye. By tongue, by you know, uh, speaking ill of people and backbiting them and cylindering them and you know, accusations with the, or the verbal accusations. Abu Ali al-Riyahi, one another scholar of the Tabi'een said, uh, Al-Humaza is when you speak, when you say bad speech to the person in his presence. And Lumaza is when you say it in his absence. In his absence. And uh, uh, Ibn Abbas said, uh, woe to every cylinder and backbiter. So these are bad manners and characters as you see and, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forbid us from doing uh, so. And that's why uh, the Muslim 
should always refrain from these uh, bad attributes and bad characters, and bad characters. Uh, and then Allah Ta'ala said, describing this person, the one who does these things, his concern is all about dunya. He does not have any concern about Akhra. Otherwise, why would he uh, lose his, his, his reward of his good deeds for just uh, backbiting and cylindering or insulting or mocking or scornering? Yani why? One need to save yani, uh, his hasanat and safeguard it and protect it from being destroyed and lost more than uh, he is, is uh, guarding and uh, uh, saving and protecting his wealth. But it is the other way around. When he did not give much care to his hasanat and started losing them by backbiting and surrendering and insulting and uh, mocking and um, uh, scornering and, you know, these bad manners and characters, uh, when he did not yani, have much care of saving his hasanat uh, being lost by these um, bad characters, of course he is not going, yani, he is only concerned about dunya, about dunya. And that's why Allah Ta'ala said in the following ayah, describing this person who uh, yani, does these two bad manners, uh, Scornering and mockery. He, Allah Ta'ala said then, Alladhi jama'a malan wa addada. Who collect, uh, who collect wealth and continuously count it. Meaning, he is, is so stingy. He doesn't want to give anything. Maybe he doesn't even spend on him, um, himself and his needs and even his family. And he prefer to just keep money uh, saved, but he does not care about his hasanat. He does not care. And it could be it could be that it is a kind of punishment in the dunya. Allah makes him work hard, collect more wealth, save it, do not spend, and at the end he dies and leaves it for his inheritors. So he, did, he worked hard for collecting it, but he didn't even Yani had the taste of it. Um, and then Allah Ta'ala said, يَحْسَبُ أَنَّ مَا لَهُ أَخْلَدَ Many people today think that the wealth can provide them, can provide them uh, whatever they, they need or they want. As Allah Ta'ala here said that he thinks that his wealth will make him a mortal forever. Now, nah, this is wrong because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala informed us in the Quran uh, that uh, immortal is only for Allah. It cannot even be for uh, the uh, prophets and even Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Uh, Allah ta'ala said Uh, Allah Ta'ala said, وَمَا in Surah Al-Anbiya, Ayah 34, وَمَا جَعَنَّا لِبَشَرٍ مِّن قَبْلِكَ الْخُلْدَ أَفَإِن مِّتَّ أَفَهُمُ الْخَالِدُونَ أَفَإِن مِّتَّ أَفَهُمُ الْخَالِدُونَ So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said to Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, we haven't, uh, we haven't, um, we haven't uh, make uh, any of yani, those who, those prophets before you, immortal. 
in this in this world life would it be that when you die they are going to uh, abide in life that's not possible that's not possible why because allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, had determined and had decreed that every mankind uh, will have to die will have to die so allah ta'ala said that this man whose characters are so bad uh, backbiting surrendering yani uh, the zeal he has for saving his world in dunya he does not have even one tenth of it for saving his hasanat of the akhirah but he destroys his hasanat very easily and then allah ta'ala threatened him saying kalla nay or no it means it's not as he thought no 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 it's not as he thought it's not as he thought, but the reality is that he will surely be thrown into the crusher, meaning the hellfire, which crushes and destroys all that enters it. And destroying here is, does not mean uh, make them reach an end, but it's an endless life, endless life. Now, in uh, dwelling and and the torment and punishment, and torment and punishment. And then Allah Ta'ala said, وَمَا أَدْرَاكَ مَنْ حُطَمَ I spoke about this many times. مَا أَدْرَاكَ وَمَا يُدْرِيكَ And I told you that whenever Allah Ta'ala says to Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, وَمَا أَدْرَاكَ That is, first of all, uh, it's, it's a verb, okay? أَدْرَاكَ يُدْرِيكَ أَدْرَاكَ is past tense. Yudrika is present tense. Allah Ta'ala says to Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu وَمَا أَدْرَاكَ مَا الْحُطَمَةِ وَمَا أَدْرَاكَ مَا الْحُطَمَةِ The qa'idah uh, here or the principle says uh, says uh, It says that uh, whenever Allah says "Wama adraka" and uh, in the past tense, then He is going to inform him about this thing. But when He uses the present tense "Wama yudrika," He is going to hide it from him. Allah Taala said to Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, "Wama adraka malhaqa." Wama adraka. ما الحاقة وما أدراك ما سقر إن سورة المدثر وما أدراك ما يوم الفصل إن المرسلات وما أدراك ما يوم الدين إن الانفطار آه ثم ما أدراك ما يوم الدين وما أدراك ما سجين وما أدراك ما عليون إن, إن المطففين وما أدراك ما الطارق إن سورة الطارق وما أدراك ما العقبة إن سورة البلد وما أدراك ما ليلة القدر إن سورة القدر وما أدراك ما القارعة إن سورة القارعة وما أدراك ما هي إن سورة القارعة two and then in this surah as last place where Allah تعالى says this verb وما أدراك إن سورة الهمزة and then he uh, described it uh, described it for for him but where Allah سبحانه وتعالى said وما يدريك and that is in three places in the Quran as in Surah Al-Ahzab, وَمَا يُدْرِيكَ لَعَلَّ السَّاعَةَ تَكُونُ قَرِيبًا And in Surah Al-Shura, وَمَا يُدْرِيكَ لَعَلَّ السَّاعَةَ قَرِيبًا And in Surah Abasa, وَمَا يُدْرِيكَ لَعَلَّ وَيَزَّكَّ So Allah Ta'ala informed us uh, about this hutama, the crusher or the fire that is uh, crushing itself. Allah described it, said, Narullah al that crushing fire or crusher, the crusher, uh, 
is the fire of Allah. It is the fire of Allah entirely fueled, muqada, all the time. It does not go uh, hotter and then uh, a bit uh, cooler. La. It continues upon the same level of heat, burning everything, melting everything. Every time their skin melts, uh, we replace their skin right away so that they test the uh, the uh, torment. And the skin of the people of the fire is so thick that it does not go in a fraction of a second. It takes time to melt. Why? So that they feel the pain because the sense of pain is only in the skin. As if you have skin uh, removed and then you put fire on your flesh, you don't feel any anything. You don't feel it. It burns the flesh. It burns your meat, but it does not uh, give you any kind of feeling. Not like when the skin, the skin, if you just bring uh, yani a spoon, uh, which yani been heated a little bit, and you put it over your skin, it does not burn your skin, but it will make you feel the pain that it is very hot. So the skin is the, so Allah Ta'ala said, the fire of Allah, what fire? Look at that. Now we know the fire, how it works. The fire burns uh, yani the surfaces first. Yani if you threw uh, a, a sheep in, the, in, the, uh, in, the, in a fire, uh, the first thing, the, 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 the wool of it will go, and then the skin. And then, but it does not reach the heart and the uh, the kidney and the uh, liver right away. But it, it first burned. But this fire, no. Allah Taala said, "Alati tatali'u ala al-afida." Look, look to this description. Think of it. Why would Allah describe the fire this way to us, to warn us? Don't think that it's a small fire like what you see. Yani in the hadith, the Prophet وسلم, said, all the fire of what you use in this dunya, meaning the fire of the volcanoes, the fire of the sun, the fire of the candle, the fire of the oven, the fire of the factories, all type of fires, all together, all together, the whole heat of this dunya, all together is only one part of 60 parts of Jahannam. See, yani, see all this heat in the dunya, if all brought be, uh, be brought together, how hot it is? It, it is only one of out of 60 shares of the fire. Allah al-Musta'an. May Allah protect us. And then Allah Ta'ala described it. He said, it, it doesn't burn only the surface skin. No, but it reached the heart, subhanAllah which mounts directed uh, at the heart, subhanAllah, covering them and, uh, uh, and, 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 and penetrating them, subhanAllah. That's why we need to feel Allah and avoid all those things that may lead us to the fire and may make us lose our, uh, our deed, ya ikhwa. We need to be careful. And then Allah Ta'ala, Give more description of it. He said, Inna alayhim mu'sada. Look at this, subhanallah. Indeed, it, the fire, the hellfire, will be closed down upon them. Why? Now, when you when you cook meat in normal pot, in normal pan, it takes maybe uh, two hours to, yani, um, to uh, get cooked. But when you, but when you, uh, when you um, yani, uh, use the, you know, what they call the, the, the steam uh, ban or the steam boat, which is, yani, which built pressure inside, which is closed and covered, that makes it in 30 minutes uh, done. See, imagine now that fire, Jahannam, was, was uh, fueled, was glazed, was uh, blazed, uh, was blazed uh, for, 1,000 years, as, as in the hadith, the Prophet said, 
اوقد عليها الف سنه حتى احمرت it was fueled uh, for 1000 years up until it become very red and then it is fueled again 1000 years up until it become blue and uh, and then it was fueled 1000 years up until it became very dark and that's why the Prophet Sallallahu said, فَهِيَ سَوْدَاءُ مُظْلِمَةً It is very, very, it is very black, very dark. You cannot see in it. And, and above that, Allah Ta'ala said, فِي عَمَدٍ مُمَدَّدَةً فِي عَمَدٍ مُمَدَّدَةً In extended columns, subhanAllah. There are columns of fire inside the fire of Jahannam. Why? When the person feels the heat in this side, he runs. He wants to escape, but what happens is that he hits a pillar or a um, a column of fire. Allah al-musta'an, Allah al-musta'an, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala described, uh, described uh, this, this, uh, uh, this situation, this fire in, 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 in Surah Al-A'raf. In Surah Al-A'raf, Allah ta'ala said, um, uh, لهم من جهنم مهاد ومن فوقهم غواش وكذلك نجز الظالمين they will have from hell a bed and over them cover, covering uh, uh, coverings of fire الله المستعان bed of fire cover of fire drink is fire uh, food is thrones uh, the drink is boiling water. Boiling, it's not 100 degrees. Jahannam, as I said, 3,000 years fueled. Imagine what degree it is in there. Allah al-Musta'an. That's why, my brothers and sisters, we need to fear Allah and stay away from all those things that uh, yani, uh, drags uh, us the anger of Allah and stay with that which pleases Allah and keep all the time and uh, yani repentance and seeking for forgiveness. Don't say, oh, today I did not commit a sin. You don't know. Maybe a small sin that you think it's a small, but in the sight of Allah, it is very, very big and major. May Allah protect us from all the sins. And may Allah Ta'ala increase our reward and hasanat and make us from the pious people, good doers. Wallahu a'lam wa sallallahu ala nabina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi.